guys, welcome to today's video. Today is an exciting one. You've asked for it. I've wanted to do it for the past year. So here it is. It's my makeup declutter. I'll try and keep this introduction as short and sweet as possible because I want to be putting the same introduction in for every single makeup declutter. Um, so yeah, I'll leave a timestamp down here somewhere if you want to skip ahead to the declutter, if you've already seen this introduction. If you haven't, because it's the first one or it's the first one you've seen, welcome. We're going to be doing a makeup declutter, going through every single item that I own and choosing if I want to keep it or not. I have purchased, I would say, a healthy 97% of my makeup, maybe 95, 95% of my makeup by myself. So of course, I'm not going to be as ruthless as people who get PR because um, I've bought the makeup myself for a reason. It's my hard-earned cash that's been spent on it. I don't want to be minimalistic. All I want to do is refine my collection nicely so I know what I've got, so that I can open my drawers and not feel overcrowded. I definitely feel overcrowded at the moment. I don't declutter my makeup. I haven't done previously, so here we go into the makeup declutter. Everything that I will be getting rid of is either going to family and friends, um, or in the bin if it's yucky, disgusting and old, you know, like cream products dry out and are disgusting. So it won't be going to waste, don't worry. Um, I do apologise, but I will not be doing giveaways or sending it to people, so please don't comment down saying send it to me, because I just don't feel comfortable doing that and also it, it just becomes a little bit complicated and personally I've got enough family and friends to distribute my makeup around to so it won't go to waste. Don't worry it will not go to waste um, if you're thinking about that but like I said I won't be doing an absolute ruthless declutter but I wouldn't declutter enough to feel like I can breathe again so like I said I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet so let's get into the makeup declutter. So this is my face palette section. This is with blushes, bronzers, uh, bronzers and highlighters, bronzers, blushes and highlighters. Everything palette wise, it kind of goes on the face that has a mix of two things. Um, some things are just like blush, some things are just bronzer, but this is like the face palette section anyway. Uh, this is right next to my bronzer section, right here, and then my blushes are just over here. So it's kind of in between them both. I quite like it like that. I can kind of see what I've got. Um, so yeah, there's some things I just need to declutter, some things I need to use up something I haven't used in ages so let's just do what we did with the bronzers and get all of this out and then put it all back in again we've also got some of these little silica things these help dry out the area of the makeup stop things getting too damp I just leave them back there so there's not too many this probably be quite a quick video but let's just start so the first thing is this sleek makeup palette um, a blush by three palette Santa Marina 087 with Calypso Island Phoenix Sand and Coral June I can't even remember what's in here oh oh these are quite pretty let's see how they swatch okay I mean yeah they're quite pretty I quite like them I think that's gonna be a maybe I think that's a maybe I'm not too sure about this one um, I haven't used it in a while it's very very pretty but maybe the next thing is the soap and glory girls contour um I bought this ages ago and I just haven't used it it just looks like this is like a mirror inside of it as well um you get like a powder and like some cream situations going on oh i just don't really use this let me give it a swatch so that's the powder looks like the yellow cream yeah do you know what i think what i might do is just take the primer out have i even used the primer it's stuck in there do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to pass this on to a family or friend and see if they want this. Um, and if they don't, then I'll probably just declutter the powder and this out and just put this in a Z palette or something because I really don't want these three. So it's going to go. Okay, the next two things are from Essence. These are the Blush Play Sculpting Blush Palettes. I absolutely love these. I think these are stunning. Um, they're both similar but not exactly identical, just like this. This one's more of a lighter one with rosier tones. This is more pink. Um, both come with highlighter and two different uh, blushes. This is Play It Peach and this is Play It Pink. So really, really like these. Really, really beautiful. They're really, really pigmented as well. Like these are literally four pound palettes, I think. So I'm gonna keep both of these. The next thing is something that's absolutely staying. Oh my goodness, this will never leave my collection. It's absolutely loved, as you can see. It's got Cookie Highlighter, Gold Rush Blush, and Hula, it's from Benefit. It's my favorite palette. You all need it. Go out and buy it now. It just smells like everything you want a palette to smell like. It's my favorite. It's absolutely staying. This is the Kiko Face Palette in 
um, I think this is called Palette Visage, Visage, Palette Viso, I'm not too sure, but this is actually a really nice palette. The bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter are all really wearable colours for me. The highlight is a little bit golden, but I quite like that with the blush and the bronzer. Really nice shades, just there, very sheer, quite nice just for an everyday makeup. Gonna keep that. I've got another sleek palette here. Um, oh, okay, this is like a contour blush and bronze. This looks really nice. I forgot I even had this. Oh yeah, I like these. Oh, that blush is very pink though. Um, yeah, I wanna keep it, why not? This is the Nip and Fab Travel Palette. I can't remember what I think of this. Okay, another trio. Um, again, it's like those similar tones. So I think, um, let's see, which one do I prefer more out of this one? Oh my goodness, look how many face palettes I've got. And they all look identical. Um, I'm gonna put, I think I'm going to put these all to the side for now just so I can kind of come back to them because they all look literally identical so uh, I'm going to come back to all of these okay something I know I can get rid of is the Primark Cheeky Peachy Blush and Highlight Palette um, this is fun it's just a bit like not me so um, I've got nowhere to swatch this I don't know, I don't know. It's just not really me, it's a little bit powdery. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Okay, the Studio 10 palette. Oh, this is like the contour and highlight. I remember quite liking this, actually. This is like a good contour shade and a good highlighting powder, apart from it's not showing up on my skin today. Um, yeah, do you know what, I wanna keep this. I think I might keep this near my bronzers though, because technically it's just a bronzer. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this quite like this. The Nip and Fab Blush Quad. I'll be honest, I haven't used this enough. These are too pinky for my liking. Good quality, really good quality, really pigmented. Um, I just don't think I really need them that much. I've got quite a few blush palettes, so I wanna get rid of this one. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder Unlocked Palette is an absolute winner for me. I absolutely love this palette. You get a powder, um, you get these two bronzer shades just here. Ooh. Can you see that? So you get the powder, the two bronzers, and then you get this blush, um, and then another blush, and then a highlighter. I don't know if I bother swatching all of this for you, but um, here it is, and then the highlighter is stunning as well. These swatches are actually awful, but I'm just gonna go through this because I know I love it, so there's no point in taking time over the swatches. It's a keeper. Okay, something I know just needs to leave my life is the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit. Why I kept this, I, don't, I will never know. Like, the powder's good, the highlight isn't, neither is the bronzer, and neither is the contour. It's just all so chalky. Like, ugh. It's just gross. I hate it. It's not for me. I don't like it. It's going. Okay, another palette, which is quite a big one, is the Smashbox 2018 Christmas Collection, uh, like, sculpting powder palette. Um, you get three highlights up here, three highlights up here, and then three contours in the middle. So the contours are actually really, really nice. I really, really enjoy these. Um, definitely something to keep in my collection. As you can see, the contour powders are really, really nice here. And then we've got the six highlighters that are all pretty golden. I'll be honest with you, a little bit too golden for my skin tone, but when I'm more tan, I can pull these off a little bit more. So I'm gonna keep it just because I haven't got enough use out of it. Can you see that they're all pretty golden? Um, but I can layer these up and they can look quite nice. So I'm gonna keep this palette. I really, really like it. And it's got a mahoosive mirror, as you can probably see all in here. It's a mahoosive mirror. So I'm gonna keep this. Okay, something that I'm very on the fence about is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shapeshifter Palette. Um, you get the five powder, no, four powders and the five creams. Um, I actually really like the powder side, but I'm not really a fan of the cream side. Um, I just never really use this palette. This is the problem, is that I buy these things and I never really use them. Um, where am I going to put this? On the back of my hand. Like they're good, these, these are good cream products. Like they blend well. The powders are pretty nice. This is a bit too deep for me. This is a little bit too cool toned. This is a bit too stark white and I'm not a massive fan of the highlighter. Thing is, I really want to love this palette and I just don't, but I haven't got a lot of palettes here. So I'm just gonna keep it and 
see how often I use it. I need to just use it. I just need to just use it, okay? I don't want to get rid of it. I have a love-hate relationship with it. I just need to use it. Okay, this one here. I just need to use this one too. Um, I've panned most of them. Well, actually, no, I haven't panned most of them. I've panned two of them. This is a Hula. This is a Coralista. This is Rock Chore. It's got like a big dent in it. I can see it coming. Um, Cora, which one is this one? Coco Cabana? Calabasas. Calabasas? I'm not really too sure. Calabamba? Something like that. Um, and that's Dandelion and that's Sugar. I don't know. What are these called? So we've got Hula, Dandelion, Coral Easter, Bella Bamba, which is the one I was thinking of, Rockature and Sugar Bomb. So Bella Bamba, Sugar Bomb, Dandelion are the ones I've got to use up. These two I've, well, these are two of my favourites. This one I've practically used all the way up. Um, I just need to finish it. Dropped a brush. I just need to finish it. It's really old. I don't want to get rid of it yet because uh, I'm so close to finishing this. I just need, it needs to just stay out and I just need to use it up. Another thing that I just need to try and get on with is the Beauty Bakery blush palette. This is such a waste of space. I hate the fact that these stupid blushes are in the centre of this palette and nothing else is. It irritates the hell out of me. Uh, what are you going to do? These are all really pretty blushes. I just wish they weren't in this massive palette. Oh, can you see these? Um, really pigmented, really pretty. I think I need to try this out a little bit more because I haven't really got much use out of this. So... Yeah, I want to keep this one. Okay, something that is ridiculous. Why have I kept this? It's a sample. I might just use this tomorrow. Not really too sure. It's a sample of a Becca. Um, what is this? Becca Bronzed Bondi and Snapdragon. It's literally a paper sample. I need to just get rid of it. I haven't, but oh well. I'm trying to keep it and use it up very fast. And then finally, I've got the Colourpop Custom Palette. This is actually pretty new to my collection. Um, this is like the four Kathleen Lights blushes. Um, let me read them out. So this one is Luna Has It. This one is So Retrograde. This one is I Need Space. And My Sun and Stars. And then there was like two highlights that she recommended, or maybe I dreamt that. It's Padded Down, which I really love. And then this one, which is Dreamscape. So, love this palette. I use it quite often. So, I'm going to keep it. I like it. So, the only things I need to think about and review now are the four palettes I've got in my hand here. Um, right, the two sleek ones. Let's have a look, shall we? So, I've got this one and this one. I think this one is more unique. Sorry, I'm kind of blinding you, aren't I? This one is more unique because it's more of a berry toned blush and I don't have a lot of berry toned blushes. Well, I do, but not in a palette form. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. Um, and this is the problem with this one is that I've got this Kiko one and the Nip and Fab one. They're all very, very similar. Um, I'm gonna start off with the Kiko one. So let's highlight blush bronze lovely really nice tones the the highlight is a little bit too gold but i like it and then we've got the nip and fab one which is highlight blush bronze um these are a little bit more crumbly but the highlight's prettier um okay and then we've got the sleek one which is highlight blush bronze this is like a proper orgasm shade this one here so um highlight blush bronze the thing is is that i love this one because they're so buttery smooth so i'm going to keep the kiko one um the nip and fab one or the sleek one um I prefer the bronzer in this one, but I prefer the highlight of this one. And I don't really like the blushes in either. Um, oh, I don't know. They're both so, so similar. I think I'm going to keep the Nip and Fab one and get rid of the Sleek one. Just because looking at the swatches, this is very bright. Um, it's very golden. And I think I just prefer this palette out of this palette. I prefer the highlighter in the Nip and Fab one. So I'm going to keep the Nip and Fab one and get rid of the Sleek one.
um, that is it for my face palette collection. I said it was only a small one. Um, like I said, I've got all my smaller palettes just here. These are all ones I know and love. And I've just got my hourglass one prompting that one up. I don't really want that standing up because it's quite tall. Um, so that's just laying down. And then I've got the four bigger face palettes here. The big contour palette. The blush palette with highlights from Colourpop. Um, the Beauty Bakery one that I need to try out a little bit more. And then the Benefit one that I just need to use up. So... I mean, all in all, I'm pretty happy with that, I think. And these are the ones that we got rid of. So we got rid of the Benefit Cheeky Peachy one, the Revlon Sculpted Highlight, the Sleek one that we just got rid of, um, the Nip and Fab Blush Quad, and the Soaking Glory Girls Contour Palette. So I got rid of, how many is that? Five. I feel like in a very small collection of face palettes, that's not too bad going. I'm quite happy with that. So that was it. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's declutter. Was there anything that you saw that you've tried or that you haven't tried? Are you intrigued about something? Comment it down below. Let's talk about the makeup. How well did you think I did? Obviously I'm filming this before I'm decluttering, so I don't know how well that I've done in this declutter. It could have all been terrible, but comment down below. How well did I do today with whatever I decluttered? How well did I do? Please tell me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Thumbs up if you enjoy makeup declutters and I will know to kind of maybe do it as a yearly basis a massive series every year perhaps by hitting the thumbs up i know if you want me to proceed with the makeup to clutter and i'll just cut it short if you guys don't like it it's absolutely fine so let me know with the thumbs up and down if you do enjoy this sort of video and i'll be sure to sort of take that information in and you know follow it subscribe if you have not already and ring my bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos i upload i upload every single week and you wouldn't want to miss out on any more content from me would you? No. No is the answer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.